before we start, I'd like to set some expectations here. These are simple things that are making my daily interaction with Evernote much easier. And there are some of them that are also being pretty helpful in my new system. I use this one so often that a long time ago, uh, years ago, I memorized the shift command D keyboard shortcut, but you don't have to do that anymore. If you use the slash command and type date, you don't even have to type the entire word D A, <laughs> go to what you want, current date, and hit enter. There you have it. I don't use this other one, but there's also a slash command for time, current time, enter, and here you have it. Much easier than memorizing. I, I think the the, sh com the keyboard shortcut for time is shift option command D, shift option command D. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I agree with you. Memorizing these keyboard shortcuts is pretty crazy. So there you have it, slash commands for date and time. As you saw in a recent video, I'm using the pin notes in notes like my document notes to make them, it's it, it's it's a summary, right? It's easier to go to all of the notes in that notebook and having it at the top of the list, of course, makes things much easier. But I'm also using it to separate, trying to use it. I'm not sure if if this will work, but I'm, I'm, I'm testing it currently. Uh, I'm, the idea here is to separate the backlog items from the work in progress. I'd say the other way around, the work in progress from the backlog, because the work in progress usually is a single note. So in this case here, let's say these are old videos, but again, this is my test account. So let's pretend these are ideas for a video and that this one here is the one I'm currently working on. So if I add a pen to this note, it will bring it to the top, separating it from the other notes that are simply ideas for the future. Uh, and, and by the way, I, I, I have to record a video, publish a video about this, how I do this and what is a backlog and what is work in progress. Many of you already know what that is, but I guess, there are many of you that also don't know what that is. Okay, these are the two places where I'm using the pin notes. And what about you? I'm curious now, where and how are you using the pin notes? Uh, to be honest, I never miss them because I would use the reminder with no date, add reminders. And to some extent, I, I I prefer the reminder walk around because it's a separate list. If you have many uh, pinned with the reminder, you would see them in this list in a separate list. For example, if I pin if I pin this other one with the reminder, I would have two lists. So a list of pin notes and a list of all the notes. So. How are you using this? Or are you still using the reminders? <laughs> I have to confess that when I first heard about this feature, I couldn't see much use for it, but I'm now trying it on my new client's note. I talked about it in a recent B-side video. I'm not 100% uh, happy with it. So that's why I haven't produced a video here in the channel. So it's it, it's still evolving, but it, I'll, I'll, as soon as I am happy with it, 99% happy or 98% happy, I'll produce the video. But it's a good place to show you how the, the headings links are helping me. It's something like this. I have the this here, the, the company info and the team and each team member has uh, a headings with some information. And here, let's say Anna was present as an attendee and I can copy Anna's link and comment K here and paste the link here. In this situation here, I can clearly see Anna here. So it would be easier just to go to the to her name. 
But sometimes, the name, here's another example. Here's another test I, I, I was doing. But sometimes it, it's something like this, Anna. And it's, there's no, I, I, I can't see her information. So if I click here, I can go to her name and expand this and see her information. So this is the only place I'm using it. And to be honest, it's, I'm liking it. <laughs> so stay tuned. And if you are a supporter, go check uh, the B side video. And by the way, this video also has a B side where I discuss the new Evernote sync. In the past, I would use the code block to insert information into a note that was not written by me. It, it was something external. Let's say a client sent me an email and I want just to copy and paste part of that email as additional information. So I would use a shortcut here and create a code block and paste that info here. This was a workaround with some problems. The first one was the fact that I could not format the text. Uh, there's no way to, still no way to format the text. But now there's another problem, a problem <laughs> affecting me, <laughs> per people who are not using the, the, the code box as a code box. Uh, for those using it uh, as a space for code, it's much better. For example, if I add, I don't know, a bold, a code here and select HTML, you see, it colors that code. So depending on what I paste to this box now, it will be colored <laughs> and it won't make any sense. So what I'm using now is the new quote box, which you can access using the slash command. So quote box. Visually, it also stands out. It's not like the box. Uh, the box is pretty <laughs> clear that <laughs> there's something there, but it, it's okay. However, there is something here that I, I didn't have. I can use many of these formatting options here. I can even create a link. So even though uh, the code box is not an option anymore from in my case, the Quote, it's not quote box, it's just quote. <laughs> quote is working pretty well. By the way, both are also here. You have the quote and you have the code block. Where is that code, code block? And of course, both of them are accessible by the code, the slash code and quote, okay? And there's also a keyboard shortcut for the quote larger than and type. I'm definitely in love with this ones, the, the ones I'm calling create per page icons, uh, especially the new note. Uh, they are making my life much, much easier. So as you already know, Evernote opens, my Evernote opens here at the shortcuts page. And from here, if I have an idea for a video, I just tap YouTube and new note and that's it. It's so fast. I love it. Okay, now it's your turn. Please let me know in the comments below what are the new features you are in love with or maybe what are the ones you are still <laughs> waiting for. <laughs> that's it for this one. Thanks for watching. See you soon.